Hi guys, it's Claire, and I almost always either forget to record longer videos or I forget to go and edit them. So now that I'm on spring break, I thought, hey, I can actually record and edit a video on the same day today, so I'm not going to forget about it. So I thought, let's do kind of a get ready with me that's longer and more expanded. Uh, because uh, ever since recording one of the videos uh, where I close my eye, open it, and uh, you see the flashlight on my eye and it, my pupil shrinks and everything. Ever since then, I've seen comments asking for like a makeup tutorial or eyeliner tutorial and things like that. So I thought, why not just do a whole get ready with me? Uh, yeah, so this intro has been a little bit long, but um, yeah, uh, hit the like button if you enjoy, subscribe if you're new around here, and let's get in the video. One more quick thing before I start. Thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. I hit 5,000 a couple days ago, and uh, yeah, I know I said the same thing at 100 subscribers, but I never thought that I would get this far. So thank you so, so much. You are truly valued. Um, now let's get in the video. a little after 10 a.m. for me um, and I'm gonna get in the shower uh, I'm gonna listen to a playlist uh, of Coheed and Cambria songs because I love them uh, yeah here I'm just showing off some of the products I was using like my Maui conditioner my body sugar scrub my body wash and my face wash just got out of the shower it's almost 10 40 now um, I took a long shower because I don't have anywhere I'm supposed to be today so I know I can take my time. So now I'm going to dry off and then we're going to go pick my outfit for today. Now I've just put on a little basic outfit so that I can pick what I want to wear today um, and actually show you guys that I'm picking. I'm sort of feeling like wearing the skirt that I showed in uh, the short I posted last night because um, there's a high of 56 degrees Fahrenheit um, where I live today, but I don't really have too many basics or things that I feel like would go with the skirt. So I don't know. I have an idea for an outfit. Let's let's see how it is. Maybe this tennis skirt. We'll do this tank top as a sort of undershirt. And we'll do this sweatshirt as the kind of on top. And let's see how it looks. Stop. I had a feeling this would be cute, but I didn't think it'd be this cute. I look like a stereotypical like schoolgirl outfit though. <laughs> That's okay though. So now we're gonna do my makeup and we'll have the uh, very requested eyeliner tutorial in this. So yeah. For that though, we're gonna do my hair. Or not really do my hair, but we're gonna put my hair into a bun for while I'm doing my makeup. So let's do that now. So when I usually put my hair in a bun, I, um, I usually try to put it kind of in a ponytail first, but since this is just temporary, we're just gonna do simple, extremely messy bun because I don't really care for today. Ha! Huh. <laughs> this works. It's extremely messy, but that's okay because right now it's just to get my hair out of my face. Okay, so you'll recognize ignore the loud noise but you'll recognize this spot as like a filming spot for me because it's um on this thing that's right next to my bed that and yeah this is a pretty common filming place because my mirror is right there and i've got my makeup stuff over here too so this is kind of just like a very easy right here i can see myself in the two places and yeah so first things first I'm gonna take off the little bit of mascara that is under my eye. Um, I've learned recently, because I went to Belize with my school a month ago. Um, actually, a little over a month ago. That's so sad. I miss Belize. It was very warm, though. We're not gonna talk about how Belize is currently, or at least as of a few days ago, was on, like, was in, like, some emergency state because of gang violence or something 
So kind of a little bit glad I left, but at the same time, I miss the heat. Um, but while I was in Belize, I learned, because I wasn't wearing a ton of makeup, um, I learned that um, taking off my makeup before bed and everything does really help your skin clear. And yeah, so for a while, I was doing really good with taking off my makeup before bed, and my skin was getting really clear. Uh, recently... I've been forgetting to take it off more often, so my face is breaking out a little bit again, but that's okay. So, to start my makeup, I usually use e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This one is shade Light Peach, which is technically a little too light for me, but they didn't have my shade, and I was like, you know what, we're gonna settle for the next best thing, which you shouldn't do. But that's okay, because, yeah, I don't, I mean, I do have um, beauty blenders, but they're kind of broken. Like, one of them is, my dog got to it, and I have to throw it out. This is, like, really, like, exposing myself. But since then, I just use a big brush, <laughs> and I just pat, kind of pretend that's a beauty blender, and I just do that to take care of everything and then eventually I get tired of it and I kind of just wipe it which isn't very good but you know it works so I usually put concealer here um I put concealer on in multiple places because uh, but I put it in like waves because I learned that if you put all the concealer that you wear and you wear a lot of it if you put it all on at once, then it's going to dry out, and then it's not going to blend. So, I've learned. Um, yes, and then I usually put some here, and then I put it here and here. And I did not miss at all, but um, under my nose usually looks red, always. So, I try to blend it and put concealer here to make it look a little bit more uh, normal, except apparently normal is having the little red under your nose, but I like how it looks without the red. And yeah. Um, what else can I talk about with you guys? Oh yeah, so two, I think this was about two weeks ago. Um, no, it was about a week ago, I'd say. Um, so, we, where I live, um, it was really nice, like, two weeks ago. Because uh, the sun, like, the sun was out, um, outdoor track was starting, we were able to be outside on the first day, because there wasn't any snow. Because I live in a northeastern state. Um, I think I've said what state I live in before. Um... But I'm going to try harder now to kind of keep where I live more of a secret or what school I go to. Um, because now that I'm starting to get more subscribers and things like that, I have realized that I would like to keep my home a secret. Because even though I haven't had any experience with it yet, I don't want to have any experience with anybody, like, stalking me and trying to figure out where I live. Um, so, yeah. Um, but anyway, like, a couple weeks ago, it was really nice out. It was, like, 60, which in March, or, like, early, mid-March, was really crazy. Um, now... I'm using Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer um, with this same brush that I use for my concealer, and I'm just going over, trying to go on my forehead to make it more look a little bit more tanned because um, cause this concealer is light a little bit for me um, since I'm a little bit tanned. I'm still really pale, but I'm a little bit more tanned than I usually am. Um, so I try to do this to go over it to make it look a little bit less obvious that I have concealer on. Anyway, actually, not anyway. I have to explain more of what I'm doing. Now, I'm gonna put 
on some blush because I usually do it so I have like my base done first. I use Milani blush in the shade Petal Primavera. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to put that on my nose and on my cheeks. But um, anyway, so it was really nice out. And then a week ago, or like a week and a half ago, all of a sudden it snowed and we got like two feet of snow. We went from literally having, um, literally being able to be outside in shorts and a short sleeve comfortably to two feet of snow in a couple days. Global warming, I don't like you. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, but now it's just starting to warm up again. And now it's supposed to snow again on Wednesday. So in two days, um, for like three or four inches. <sighs> like snow is fine. But once we get into outdoor track season, no more snow. Now, I, I've tried to find this, uh, exact highlighter I use multiple times. Uh, but I think it was like an exclusive or something like that. Because it's Ofra X Nikki Tutorials Highlighters Glow Goals. I, I, I can never find it anywhere. So I think it was like a one of a kind. But yeah. So I just put some of this on my nose. Because I like to look shiny, honestly. <laughs> now I've got this Glodian makeup palette. Um, I don't know what brand it is. And I use the lightest shade that's in here, and I put it between my eyes on the bridge of my nose, or whatever this is called, to make that shiny. <laughs> and then I have one more thing that I use for highlighter. This Bella Pierre Cosmetics. Um, it's this really loose white like powder, and I use it for a highlighter, and I just put it in the corners of my eyes so that I become shiny. Because I am the crab from Moana. <sighs> so. Yeah. Um, after I feel uh, like I've put enough. And I'm shiny enough. I'm done. Yay. <laughs> now while I'm at this. I usually go and I do my eyebrows. Now because. Yeah. But we're almost there to the mascara and stuff. So I use this really worn out mascara. That is Betty Boop with Ipsy. Like, I used to use it constantly, and now it's, like, barely anything. So I use the wand and the tiny bit of mascara that's there to go do my eyebrows. Because, lucky me, I have dark hair. I can just use mascara for my brows. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, now it's time for the very requested eyeliner. So I usually kind of rotate what eyeliner I use. It depends on how much eyeliner I have left. I'll just get a new one randomly. This one is currently just Sephora eyeliner. Um, I think it's just Noir shade one. Um, and yeah, so I usually just settle for whatever eyeliner is near me. Uh, I like liquid eyeliner specifically because it makes it so I can get it sharp. Um, and yeah, the only reason I have Sephora stuff like this Sephora stuff because I'm I'm an Ulta person like I have Milani brand stuff I have elf like this is all Ulta um but a couple years ago my grandma got me um a couple Sephora gift cards so before leaving for Belize I was like you know what we're gonna refill on things that I have and then I felt like crying because I saw how expensive makeup was but I got eyeliner and I also spent $28 on mascara because, yeah. Oh, I can't zoom in. Okay. Okay, we'll figure this out. Now, I'm going to go over and use Instagram to record this so I can zoom in so you can see my eyes. Specifically, like, one eye as I'm doing this. Um, yeah. Okay, now I'm recording on Insta so that I can do this. Ooh, okay, that's a really, like, close of my eye. But you know what? We're going to do this to show how I do eyeliner. Um... So I usually try to like flick off the stuff so that it's just only a little bit and I have the tip like as sharp as possible. 
and then I start a little under where the corner of my eye is and I just trace it a little bit I just trace that and go out like this so then I have like this little under wing then oh I go to the corner here and I just kind of connect it over to the top and fill in that little gap then go back over here and I go up a little more to trace along here and I trace along the rest of my eyelid so in here so this is where we're left um so now i go and i finish kind of tracing along here And we're usually left with something really thin like this. So then I go over it a little more, make it thicker, make it connect all the way back. And this is usually too thin for me, so I'll extend my wig and I'll trace it over more. So that I have it a little bit thicker. Kind of like that. Now I'll make the wig a little bit pointier. And I'll connect it over a little more. And that's how I do my wigs. So this is what it looks like more zoomed out. Uh, and here, I can record the other side for you guys too, so you can see both sides. So now we're gonna, oops, now we're gonna do my uh, left eye. I just had to check what my was what using my hands, but that's okay. So again, you start under, just tracing a little bit, just kind of tracing your uh, lash line, and then you go out a little bit. And you kind of draw to make that wing. So then I fill it in. So I have like this right here. There we go. So that's kind of what we have. Now get more. And I connect it over to the top. I connect it over to the top of my lid. And then I bring this, oh, and then I bring this over. And I kind of just trace along my lash line on the top. So now we just really have to fill it in a little bit more to make it look more like the other one. So I kind of just fill it in. Make this part a little thicker. Let's see, let's see, do they look even enough? Yeah, I think they look even enough. So now we're gonna put on mascara. Now that we've done my eyeliner, we're going to put on my mascara, which this I spent $28 on. It's uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex. And holy crap, it can be really good. I understand the hype. But at the same time, it doesn't need to be $28. So, <laughs> I usually go just a little bit eh, under my eye. Gotta get all the, 
all them lashes. Occasionally, I let it touch so that I have the little darkness under my eye. And then up. A big reason why my lashes sometimes look like spider legs is because my mascara doesn't always come off when I take off my makeup. It doesn't always completely take off. So, yeah. But I think mascara completes every makeup look or eyelashes. They complete it all. So it could, like, whatever makeup you're doing could look weird. Like, I think just this looks weird. But putting on mascara, boom. Now it looks right. It looks correct. So, uh, yeah. My mascara is usually what takes the uh, longest of my makeup. I usually can get my makeup done in, like, 5-10 minutes. But I'm kind of expanding it so that you guys can see, like, the specifics. Um... Because I know people want, wanted a eyeliner tutorial. So now we're going to do this side, the left. Ugh. How many of you guys are Percy Jackson or Heroes of Olympus or any of those series fans? Because I am a big fan. And it's not good. <laughs> oh, crap. It's okay. Um. So, a couple weeks ago, uh, or no, I think this is like two months ago now, I saw an edit of Percy Jackson's show, Disney Plus, so I was like, you know what, I need to watch this, because I've seen the movie a million times, or not a million times, but I've seen it a couple times, because, yeah, um, I saw it a bunch when I was a lot younger, uh, and so I saw the edit, and I was like, crap, now I need to watch this show so I can understand the edit, because that's a big reason that I get into things. Because I see an edit and I'm like, I want to understand the edit. So then I watched the whole show in a day when I was sick one day. Um, also, my nose is stuffy, so that's why I sound this way. Uh, eh. So then I was okay. Because I had seen the show, I understood a bunch of the edits. And then I saw <laughs> some edits that... Uh, had context from the books, like uh, the dagger scene from Heroes of Olympus, Mark of Athena. And uh, I was like, crap, now I need to understand this. So I read all the Percy Jackson books, all five, because I didn't know Chalice of the Gods existed yet. So then I read Heroes of Olympus, and I did this in like a week or two, read all of, the not all of them, but I read them. And it was crazy because reading all the Percy Jackson books, I was like really busy when I had started reading them, but then I did it anyway. So yeah, now I'm just putting on some baby lips, lip gloss. Ooh. Yay. But, um, so I think it was maybe a week ago now, I finished Blood of Olympus, the last book in Heroes of Olympus. I love Leo, so the whole all the ladies love Leo statement is true. I do love him, because he is really funny. I find him really funny, and, um, yeah, I like Leo better than Jason. I was never a fan of Jason. Sorry, not sorry. Um, now that I finished uh, Heroes of Olympus, though, I'm reading uh, Demi God Diaries. I already read Demi God Files. Uh, and then, what else do I have? I have another one that I had to read. I want to read Chalice of the Gods, but I don't have it yet, and I don't have access to it. And I'm really sad, because now I want to read Trials of Apollo, but my school library doesn't have Trials of Apollo, so I can't get it from my school. And my local library is, for some reason, loaning it to somebody else right now. So I grabbed book two. And now, I'm, after I finish reading Demi God Diaries, I'm basically just going to sit there and cry. Because... Uh, I can't start reading Trials of Apollo yet. And, uh, yeah. 
So while I'm waiting, I'm basically reading fanfiction on Wattpad. No judgment, please. I'm gonna put on my jewelry, and I'm gonna show off some of my permanent jewelry. That's not really permanent. I just call it permanent. So, I have a couple permanent jewelry things, uh, which are actually just they're tied on, so I can't take them off. Also, I got a job recently at a place that I'm not going to say because, yeah, it's not really giving away my location, but I don't want to say it. But I'm just really hoping that they do not have a limit as to how much, like, how many bracelets you can wear. Because otherwise, I'm going to have be accidentally breaking that a lot because I have a lot of bracelets that are tied on and I can't take off. So, yeah. So, I have this bracelet right here. Uh, that has like a pearl It's not really a pearl. It just is meant to look like it. It was a wish bracelet uh, You had to make a wish when you put it on um, I uh, Got it in Belize and I have a matching one with my mom Cuz uh, yeah, cuz I saw the pearl or not really a pearl, but it's supposed to be a pearl um, I saw it and I thought of my mom cuz she wears pearls all the time and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get matching jewelry for me and my mom. So this, it like it just doesn't even tie. It's just like you attach it like that. So technically, I could take it off, but I don't. Um, and then I have another bracelet that says "Bob says hello" because I love Bob, um, and I miss him. I love him so much. The epitus, Bob. I love you. I don't even know if that's how you say the name. I just say Yepetus. Because that's how I interpreted it. But yeah, so I have Bob Says Hello on my arm. Then, we're going to try to do this in order, kind of. I have this green bracelet that's tied on. Uh, I got it in Belize as well. Um, oh, by the way, I made the Bob Says Hello bracelet. But this bracelet, I bought it in Belize. Um... And me and my f best friend Axel match with this. Um, my be the person I'm talking about is the same person I made the video about them liking uh, men who could literally be their dad. Uh, yeah. Then I have this purple bracelet here. Uh, that my friend got for me, or Axel got me in France uh, last year because they went on a trip to France and Spain. And, uh, they say that I remind them of the, of the color purple, like a purple heart or just a regular star. So they got us purple bracelets to match and I think of Axel as the color green. So that's why we have green as well. Now, these two bracelets, these beaded ones, these two, I added to my collection last night. So I made them last night randomly. So this one here says Claudio O. So, um, this is a Coheed and Cambria one. So, Coheed, uh, in their first album, Second Stage Sure My Blade, uh, which has a book that goes with it. It's awesome. <sighs> or a book series, Amory Wars. But, uh, it's, in one of the songs, it's supposed to be, um, Claudio, the main character of the story he ends up going back to his house and he ends up finding um his older sister is dead it's a, and i can't really explain a ton of it because i don't want to spoil too much and this is already spoiling enough but he goes back to his house finds his older sister josephine dead and he is briefly able to revive her and she basically just keeps saying claudio oh and yeah so if you listen to the song Everything Evil by Coheed and Cambria, eventually you'll get to the part where it just says, and she screamed, Claudio, oh, dear Claudio, oh, I wish God damn it will make it if you believe. So that's why I have that. And then, whew, my other bracelet, All the Ladies Love Leo. I do love Leo. So that's why I made the bracelet. That's not entirely why. Uh, so I have Robux Premium. I pay $5 a month for it. I get 450 Robux a month. And so... I... Sp <laughs> I spent my, like, 450 Robux of the month 
to turn my avatar into Leo Valdez because I love him. I made my avatar as short as possible as well because, uh, yeah, I love him so much though. Like, Percy is still on top. Like, I, I, or I still love Percy. I think he's an amazing book boyfriend. But Leo, <gasps> he's so funny. He is. I understand why other people like Leo. I get it. My order of guys would probably be Percy, Leo, Frank, because he's so sweet, and then Jason. I hate Jason. I hate him. But the All the Ladies Love Leo, if you haven't read it or know what it's from, it's from uh, Blood of Olympus it, in the Heroes of Olympus series. Uh, not going to explain where, but uh, yeah, just... Roblox, I turned myself into Leo Valdez, um, spent all my Robux of the month, like a day after I got all my Robux, and uh, yeah, and I made my username All the Ladies Love Leo, so I also made that bracelet, and now they are permanently on my wrist, um, and I inadvertently realized that I'm kind of trolling people in Roblox to think I'm a guy, because... Uh, <laughs> because of all this because my username is it's clay x clay is usually a guy's name clay for me is just a nickname that one of my online friends had given me and so yeah so my username is all the ladies love leo my user or my display name's that my username is it's clay x and my avatar looks like a guy so to many people i appear to be a guy so i'm kind of trolling people <laughs> and yeah because i'm not a guy i'm a debbie girl but yeah to, now i have to put on the rest of my jewelry otherwise i'm gonna continue talking for an hour holy crap i've been recording for so long okay so now i have my watch it's a garmin forerunner 45 uh i think it's a 45 and I always put it on my left wrist because that's the wrist it goes on. <laughs> and then I have three bracelets I put on here. So it's like I have these two permanent bracelets and my watch over here. And then I have a bunch of bracelets over here. So I have this blue one that says Belize uh, that I got in Belize because uh, I have this I had this group I was staying with in Belize. There were five of us and we all got bracelets that said Belize. Uh, not all of them were blue, they, but they were uh, made in this pattern, uh, like this style, and they all say Belize. Then I got this black bracelet here to match with uh, three of my friends from Belize. Um, and then, <laughs> so before we get into this, I'm not religious. If you're religious, go ahead, be a religious. Yay, religion. Um, <laughs> but I'm not religious. I try not to push my beliefs onto other people, or, like, I, I try. Doesn't mean that I'm always successful, but I try not to. So I appreciate it if people don't go in my comments and start saying about how Jesus should save me and things like that, because I'm trying to respect others' religions. Go ahead, believe what you like. Just don't harm anybody else, physically or mentally or in any way. Uh, and then we're all good. Just don't harm anybody. Believe what you want, and I'm all good, okay? <laughs> and just try not, please try not to convert me to religions in comments because it's not going to work. Sorry. But anyway, while I was in Belize, we went to the school and we donated a bunch of uh, school supplies and um, like uh, sports equipment and things like that. And one of these kids, before he left, came out to me and gave me this bracelet. It says, I love my Catholic school, because that school is Catholic. She gave me her bracelet from the school. So I wear it. Um, even though I'm not Catholic, I wear it because of the whole memory of it. Because I think it's really sweet. Because I didn't even talk to that one kid very much. Like, I talked to her a little bit. And she's like, before, I, before we go, here, let me give this to you. I'm like, oh! Thank you. Meanwhile, I want to start crying. And then I have this necklace here that I uh, tied on that I made because uh, my neck feels lonely 
or plain if I don't have a necklace on. And I'd like to be able to have a bra not bracelet, a necklace I can wear while swimming that I'm not going to worry about getting rusted. And then I have this pole vault necklace um, that I got from Secret Santa this year for um, indoor track. It was Sprinter Secret Santa. And yeah, so that's all my jewelry. But now we have to do my hair. And I, this video has gone on forever. I feel so bad. This, this is the outfit. Ugh. And now I have to do my hair. So I'm thinking about, you know what? We're going to try a braid because I've been doing one single braid like every day for the past couple of days. And I want to see if or how it looks with, uh, with eyeliner on. Because my, the past couple of days when I do braids, I haven't had eyeliner on. If anything, I've had mascara, so I want to just see how it looks. Ah, so now I have to brush this out, which probably is not a good idea while it's wet, but I don't entirely care. Ow. That's one of the most common things you'll hear me say when I brush my hair. Ow. So, uh, my ends are dead, in case you didn't know, um, or couldn't tell, uh, because I bleached my hair uh, almost two years ago and then I proceeded to dye it uh, three times with some harsh dye that I didn't realize was harsh uh, uh, with like three with a three month gap between each dye um, and yeah so my hair the ends at least are very damaged and dead they're the the bleach is the reason that I have this blonde color at the at the ends of my hair. Um, and yeah, so I'm thinking, not really thinking, I'm going to cut off um, like two, three inches of my hair to try to get rid of the dead ends and get rid of as much blonde as possible. Because I know a bunch of my friends really like the blonde in my hair and everything, but I want to get back to full natural. Because, uh, yeah, ooh, what was that sound? At the same time, I would like to, uh, attempt to get back, uh, or to, yeah, I want to get back to natural, but at the same time, I have this not permanent at all, um, red dye that I, like, it lasted a week last time I did it. I kind of want to try it, um. Ooh, that looks so bad. I kind of want to try it again just to get this a little bit more towards my natural hair color. Ooh. Does this look okay? It looks kind of stupid. If I'm completely honest, I think it looks kind of stupid. But... It's, I need something, like, even. Ugh, that is so thick. That is not even at all. Okay. There we go. That's better. Now we're just going to do, I think, a straight bane back. Which is strange to me because I don't do straight braids. Or what I've been doing isn't really a straight braid. It's just a braid that goes on the side. Or it's a side braid. <laughs> Whatever the name is of these things. I don't know. I don't know names. Okay. Woo! Sorry. That made me happy how it looked. Now I'm going to separate into three sections. And I'm attempting to. So because of... All the reading of Percy Jackson and things. Uh, I've gotten really into Greek mythology <laughs> as a side effect. So now, so I have Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> so I was scrolling on Game Pass the other day trying to find like a, some games to download because I could play like Fortnite and things like that, except I hate playing by myself. But at the same time, none of my friends are ever on. And at the same time, I don't have very many friends that also play Fortnite that I have added. So, yeah. So, I was trying to find some more games that I could play. Uh, 
and I ended up finding Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So now I'm playing Assassin's Creed. <laughs> That's the game I'm playing currently. Like... <laughs> And I just think it's funny because I've seen my dad play Assassin's Creed Valhalla a ton, which is Norse mythology. And, uh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, so my hair is... Hair is herring, kind of. Okay, so if I go put that back... Ooh. Ooh. Hair. Does it look terrible? Hopefully not. Because I can't see it. Uh, yeah, I think this looks kind of okay, though. Yay! Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is... Bro! This is the outfit with the finish with my hair and makeup. You know, we're turning the light off because I don't like how that looks. Yay. Oh, I love the spin. And then I love how this has shorts. Holy crap. My legs look like... Ooh. They look strong. I don't even have that big of legs. But like wearing a skirt like this makes me realize how big my legs actually are. They're not even super big. You can't even see the muscle. How, how do I make this flex so you see the muscle? Like I know how to make my calf flex. Oh, that's my foot. I'll cut that out. I'm like, ooh, feels strong. Feels pretty. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. It was, I feel like half actually me getting ready, the other half of me just talking and rambling about random things. <laughs> but um, thank you so much for watching. If you've gotten this far, um, I hope you enjoyed the actual get ready with me or part of it uh and i hope my talking about other random things wasn't too annoying uh but yeah thank you so much for watching hit the like button if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new around here um and yeah i'll see if i can stream at some point this week i love you guys and i hope you guys have a great day or night and i'll see you guys in another video bye